You may remember the disastrous Willie's Chocolate experience in Glasgow that went viral last month. For all the wrong reasons, the event promised a chocolatey dream, but instead left parents livid, children in tears, and the actors involved, well, quite frankly, embarrassed. Excuse me, without thinking, I've just put some chocolate in my mouth. Oh, really? Somebody in the get, green get, room getting gave in, me... Getting, yeah, getting into the spirit. How ironic. Yeah. And it was such a failure, <laughs> such a spectacular failure, that a documentary has been made about the whole event called Wonka, the scandal that rocked Britain. Well, we're now joined by Michael Archibald, who appears in the documentary and played the main man, Willie, and two Oompa Loompas who we've chatted to before, Kirsty Patterson and Jenny Fogarty. Good waving, everyone. <laughs> Good waving. Yeah. As we haven't met you before, Michael, Willie, um, <clears throat> tell us how it all happened for you then. T tell us about... Well, first of all, how you even got involved in it and when you realised how it was all going horribly wrong. So, essentially, for me, um, what's, <laughs> this started off as a little bit of a job search. Right. Uh, so, I'm care experienced, by the way, and happy Kinship Care Week, by the way, for all of my fellow kinship carers out there. Ah, okay. Um, so, I live on my own. I've been estranged since I was 17, and uh, for me, like, I'm currently 18, and I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to go out there, I'm going to get a job, I'm going to make some mad money and yeah. I'm going to move into my own flat for the summer. Yeah. And it went downhill from there. So uh, I was uh, like, you know what? An acting job seems really fun. How, how yeah. about I go for something like that? And it turned out, oh, Willie's Chocolate Experience was, like, advertised on Indeed, which is, you know, like, job searching app. I'm like, yeah, this is great, right? This is my first time using it. And, um... <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> it was my first gig. I was like you know what, I'm an artist, I've done like all different kinds of stuff. I've spray painted a mural in Glasgow, which I'm featured on. I've done work with John Lewis, releasing a tote bag, like all this different types of stuff, right? I'm an artist, I'm, a, I'm creative. And then I was like, ah, acting seems really up my alley. I could so, <laughs> I could <laughs> smash it. Like I, I would do so good and I'm bringing joy to children. Like it's just everything I need at once. And then the reality. <laughs> There so wasn't when, even a chocolate bar in sight. So when you got there in the day, there wasn't a chocolate bar in sight. Yeah. What did you think? I mean, we're looking at the pictures from it. It's absolutely, you know, it's pretty sparse. Put it that way. Oh, more and, than sparse. And were you embarrassed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like asking a kid if they like candy. Yes. <laughs> I was very embarrassed. Um, it was, it was, uh, oh my goodness. I, I was in front of all of these people and... Uh, a lot of folk were like, wow, he's so unenthusiastic, but um, it was because I didn't want to be there in the first and place. And didn't, you didn't know, did you? No. Uh, you knew what they didn't know, that when they got inside, it was going to get even worse. Kirsty and Jenny, you knew, uh, because you were facing it, and I know, Kirsty, <laughs> that you were trying everything. You were doing cartwheels, you were jumping yeah! up and down, you were doing <laughs> everything you could to distract from this. So, my motto in life is literally just make the best out of a worse situation, so that's what all I could do, and I could think all the kids and the parents could all vouch for me. And I was doing cartwheels, yeah, at the start, but then when he went abandoned the script, I was stuck behind the jelly bean bit, handing about one jelly bean, and then we ran out of jelly beans. So, that, <laughs> but that, but I know, but so when that picture got took, that was when I hit my point of like, what what's going do? on here? What, what am I doing with my life? Which can resonate with a lot of people because we've all actually done a job that we don't like to do. Because we have to. And, and what's, yeah. what, what's life like now? Because bizarrely, although the experience wasn't a great experience, it's turning into a kind of altogether different experience for you because here you are on Good Morning Britain and yeah. sort of getting a bit of a profile. So, for me, the media's been amazing. Um, mm. It's opening doors for me that I never thought could ever be opened. Dre like, my dream was always to be a kids' TV presenter and work with charities. I thought you said your dream was always to be an Oompa Loompa. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, yeah, but I love being, like, a character. I love, like, being in my imagination. And my dream is always to work with charities such as ADHD and Autism UK. They're very important to me. Right. right. So, yeah, it's just... This is, and that's happening, is it? They've been in that's touch. my plan, yeah. Wow. To work wow. with so these how, charities. And how did the documentary come about, Jenny? Um... Well, I, I'm not actually working on the Channel 5 documentary. OK. But I have seen, like, a hugely positive response from people for, yeah. like, all the attention that we've been getting from the media. Um, it's just... It's wild. Like, none of us could have expected this kind of a... 
<laughs> a result. And, like, and, and, and have yeah. you heard, Kirsten, from, from the organisers? What, what are they doing? Because I know a lot of people oh, yeah. still want their money oh, back. Mike He's is promised they're going to get refunds. Oh, no. he, he, well, in a statement, in a fair play, he, he, you know, they've been very apologetic and it seems to be heartfelt in the, in the statement. But you... I'm in conflicting feelings with mm -hmm. it because I do, in one way, I am a human being and after all, kind of, this has kind of calmed down for me. I have, we've actually all, all spoke about, we actually do feel a wee bit sad for them, but at the same time... What, the organisers? Because I, I know you felt very sad for the parents. But, the however, yeah. there is the flip mm. side where I do believe, like, there is a cost of life. There's a, like... People Absolutely. don't have money these days. And, like, kids yeah. were going up to me, parents were going up to me on the day saying, this is what they got their kid for Christmas. And that just doesn't mm. come out my brain. No. And no. they've not got the no. refund, so I can't... Mm. My I empathise up to a certain point, but then I get... Annoyed again. Well, <laughs> to look, be honest, uh, the think... organisers' house of Illuminati I did post a statement uh, on Facebook saying, unfortunately, at the last minute they were let down in many areas of their event and tried their best to continue on. And now I realise we probably should have cancelled first thing instead. Well, they probably should have done, shouldn't I they? Mean, looking at it, yeah. um, have, are people getting paid? Are people getting their money back? As far as people, you know, yeah, people, they have said they're refunding people. Um, families, I know that the actors only got paid half of what we were contracted to. Right. But, um, yeah, I haven't seen many refunds actually going through for families. Yeah. Um, it's just... Yeah, it's, no, And like, it's a lot of money. We've not like, received any more than... Because um, we were supposed to be paid the week after and we've right. only received half and then he's gone completely MIA, essentially. And mm -hmm. what really sucks as well is, like, for myself, I've not actually gotten that many opportunities out of this. Right. Uh, the Channel 5 documentary and uh, whatnot, it's because people were really late to releasing videos of me. Uh, and whatnot, no. so nobody's really reached well, out. Well, look, and there's still, it's really interesting. There's still, you're only there's 18, still there's still time. time. <laughs> there's still time. Still time. <laughs> Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right, well, uh, lovely to talk to all three of you. Um, and good luck with what comes next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Thank you very much. Always oh, got the flourish. Yeah.